Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat. Pick a balloon or hook and make a hat. If a hat is not what they will need, then something else will do. Cause a homemade gift that comes from you says, I love you. And God bless you. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jay Dale with Living Creative with Pixie Princess. And we are continuing our Making September a Christmas to remember because we're getting started on our homemade Christmas gifts so they'll be ready in time. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how I make one of our favorite beverages for Christmas time. It's not Christmas until we have an orange spice tea, also known as Russian tea. So if you'd like to learn how to make this mix, stay tuned. <music> Okay, to make this spiced orange tea mix, also known as Russian tea mix, let's get started. You will need a pint-sized mason jar, and it needs to be the kind that has the flat lid on it, and you'll see why in a minute. And you'll need a decorative piece of fabric. I got this out of a fat quarter, and I cut it into about a six and a half to six and a half square. And then you will need a long ribbon. And then you will need a gift tag of some type. I didn't have anything fancy to make a gift tag, but this is just the example. It has the mixing instructions, and then you can close it up and have the to and from. But you would punch a hole in it and string the ribbon through it. But that's how you're going to make it into a gift. So first we got to get to mixing the actual tea mix. So you will need a large mixing bowl. And the first ingredient is you need an orange uh, breakfast drink like Tang. And the recipe calls for one cup. So we have our one cup of Tang. And you need two-third cup of instant tea. I like to get the tea that doesn't have the lemon flavor in it. I could not find that in the store. So if you can find it, that's good. If you like a lot of lemon flavor, you can use this. If you want to use a lesser amount of the lemonade, you can do that. But I'm just going to go full force here and use the lemon. I don't mind the lemon taste. And I don't think anybody else will either. So you're going to need two-thirds cup of instant tea mix. So we've got that. Our next ingredient is pre-sweetened instant lemonade. It doesn't matter what brand. And you're going to need one-third cup of that. And then you're going to need a quarter cup of granulated sugar. If you want it a little bit sweeter, you can put a little more in there or a little less. And for the spices, we need half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground cloves. You can put a little more of either. You could also add a little nutmeg or something if you would like. So that's my cinnamon. Oh, that smells good. And the cloves. This was what this is what makes it a good Christmas drink. That's all you have to do. We're not baking anything. We're not cooking anything. So you add all of these ingredients and then we're just gonna stir it until it's all well incorporated. Make sure you get those seasonings 
mixed in there. This smells wonderful. Make sure all the sugar is dissolved. You can use a whisk if you'd like to, to make sure it gets mixed in. I wish you could smell this right now. Oh my goodness. This smells great. And this, if, you, if it gets cold outside and you want a warm beverage, this is wonderful. One of my favorite things to do while I'm wrapping Christmas presents is to sit down in front of um, It's a Wonderful Life and drink my spiced tea. <laughs> okay, so now the gift giving part. Move this out of the way just a bit. You're going to take your mason jar and you're going to fill it up with the tea mix. Do it over the jar. Kind of do it slow because dust will go everywhere. This will probably fill up two pint jars. And you can, you know, increase this recipe if you need to make more. This makes great teacher gifts. Those of you that have children in school, they love it. Most of them do anyway. I'm not going to fill it to the rim. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to move this out of the way because we're done with that right now. So now, you got that in there. You're just going to take the flat and put it down. Make sure you don't have any dust on it. Put the flat down. And you're going to take your fabric square and try to get it on there as centered and evenly as possible. Now you're going to take the ring, screw it on before it gets too tight. Stretch it however you need to to get it even. And then get it on there tight. So now if you were going to, you need to string your tag on there but I'm not going to because I don't have a decorative tag and we will have the description on how to mix it in the uh, description so you can make your gift tag and if you can also put a little dab of glue on here to keep it secure to tie easy okay so you just tie it up and to make a little bow I'm going to make a loop here and another loop here and then I'm just going to make the bow and I'm going to have to slide this back on. Ah, okay, let's do that again. Okay, so I make it even. So that would be the advantage of gluing this down. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to look nice. Let's just do it this way. Okay, slide it back on. Now I'm gonna tighten my bow. And you may be an excellent bow tire and do this a lot better. But here is your Christmas gift ready to give, especially if it has a little gift tag on it, or you could put a label on the jar however you would like to do that this makes a wonderful drink in the cold winter days so i hope you enjoyed this if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to share it with your friends on social media and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and hit the bell icon so you know when i post another one so stay tuned for more homemade christmas gift ideas um, in the coming days. Uh, hope, until the next one, I will see you later. Bye.